Hi everyone, um, this is my first Homebrew Wednesday. Um, I thought that I would sort of join some of those out there that have been enjoying Homebrew and why not? Um, so, just to let you know, I live in a very small flat in South East London. I have a very tiny cooker, as you can see. Um, so, I originally did a Cooper's Lager, which surprisingly everybody enjoyed. I was really, I was really surprised because I honestly thought it was going to be one of those strange fad things. I bought my new flat, and you know, what's the first thing you do? Brew beer, and everybody was like, "Ah, oh, that's really good." So, thank you, Coopers. So, my next beer um, was a Milestone Crusader, which has been conditioning in the bottle now for um, two and a half, three weeks. Um, there are a couple in the fridge, so I'm going to get one out in a minute because that one's not been tried yet. Um, <clears throat> what I found really confusing, I think, is that a lot of people have been doing this a long time. And if you look at some of the, um, some of the forum sites, they get very technical very quickly and whilst that's not a bad thing I mean this is this is someone's hobby and people really enjoy this um, I kind of wanted to try and do something that broke it down just a little bit for me so that I kind of understood what was going on so after a lot of research um, I think I've got some of the terms right I think I've got some of the concepts right so this one I'm going to do is an extract which came from Brew UK. Um, it's a Citra 6 um, wheat ale, no, wheat beer, wheat lager, wheat beer. Um, I'm going to follow the instructions because, you know, that's what men really do, right? Um, and then after that I'm going to try and I would imagine my next one will talk about some equipment that I've bought to try and do an all grain in a very, very small flat that has one cupboard for storage. So big pots like this and igloo um, coolers and that sort of thing. It's going to be interesting. Um, so I suppose really we should get started. I have a Cooper's um, fermenter um, with the Croissant Collar, which is currently um, you mustn't shout at me for this, but it's currently sitting in the bath, sterilising up. So that one will be ready. So not only is my fermenter just outside in the other room um, sterilising, um, I've also taken out this morning the Y yeast um, yeast. It's a 1010 American wheat, um, and that's going to go with my citrus. Um, and it all comes packaged, and and I love it for that. So I'm going to get it all out. I'm going to start getting my water up to temperature. Um, I'll show you the kit that I've bought on the way through and hopefully this will be sort of kind of fun. Um, let's see. So, <clears throat> welcome to my bathroom. There's not many people that see this. Um, this is my fermenter. Um, for those of you who are familiar with the Coopers will understand and, and know what this is. Um, one of the things that I am going to invest in, which I haven't done yet, um, is a sanitizer that's not um, that's not uh, rinse at the moment. I've got a basic sanitizer from uh, Lakeland, and you've got to leave it for ten minutes, and then you've got to rinse it off. So. Full of um, sanitizer up to here, it's been shaken, you know, all the stuff you do to make sure that it all works. But I kind of wanted to show you that it actually wasn't in the bath. Okay, so we've got the smack pack is inflating over there. Quite interesting, I'm not entirely sure I've managed to burst the, the, um, the, ac the actuator in the, in the yeast, but we'll, we'll know. Um, this is going to take a couple of hours, so they say sort of a minimum of three. So I'm hoping that that will work. Um, so I wanted to show you the kit I got. As I said, this came from um, Brew UK. Um, and I love their site, and I kind of like their forum as well. So anyway, what have we got? Uh, Citra, uh, 2012 hops there. Specialty grains. So 
and the crushed, which again is really useful for someone like me. I'm not, I don't have, you know, Homebrew Harry 69's um, shed. Um, and then um, I'm assuming uh, more extract and wheat extracts. So there's one, two, And of course, instructions. So, on the brew day, heat 60 li uh, 6 litres of water. Now, I bought a um, digital thermometer from uh, Amazon and my brew pot, which is a 20 litre brew pot. Um, again, Amazon, I think the whole lot cost me about 26, 27 quid. Um, what will be interesting, of course, is whether or not the electric stove will actually sort of heat sort of 16 degree, uh, uh, 6 litres of water. Um, so basically, what you're going to do, or what I'm going to do, you're not going to do it because you're not here, but you know what I mean. Um, muslin bag um, for the grains. The grains will go into the pot um, and that will sort of um, mash out the specialty grains. Do they mash or do they steep? I think they steep. I'm getting ahead of myself. Um, I'm going to get to open the, the hot pack and I've been looking forward to this for quite some time. Um, silly what things what things make you excited I suppose. Um, what I've got to do um, is that there are two um, hop additions which basically means you, 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 know, you have to stick hops in at certain times all my life. Um, and you do it at different amounts. So I've got 11 grams going in um, at 60 minutes before the end of the boil, so that's when the boil starts. So after you've steeped your grains um, and you've put your, God, they smell really good, um, and you put your, wow, um, and you put your light spray more extract um, also into your boil. You bring it up to the boil and you boil it for 60 minutes and you do one at the beginning, um, one at the end and then bigger and uh, longer recipes have them going in at all sorts of times and that's what gives you your bittering um, and your bitter flavours I'm assuming um, and then this smell at the end. Okay, so um, as I said, 6 litres of water coming up to 67 degrees. Um, it said no more than 70, so it's currently uh, 68. Um, good point to know, I've got a, a metal tip thermometer. Don't let it rest on the bottom of the pan, because the bottom of the pan is like loads hotter than the water. Um, so, yeah, let's just do this again. 70, 67, 68, 69. Move that over, I think. That's it. So, basically, um, grains go in. I'm uh, going to keep the thermometer in just to keep an eye on the temperature. Um, if it drops in the half an hour, then I'll just put it back on the heat a little bit. It's currently off. So, from now, 30 minutes. Uh, let's see how what we're doing and I can't describe to you it's quite strange but um, obviously these hops are sitting out it's been about five minutes or so since the water's been coming up to temperature um, and the whole place smells I, I, I mean it's just the most incredible thing so 30 minutes because I've yacked a bit that's it so one more thing I promised Um, this is um, my Crusader that I did. Um, it hasn't been tested yet. Nice big glasses. Um, this could all go... Oh, no, it fizzed. Oh, and it's fizzing in the bowl. Smells nice. Oh, am I just a happy bunny or what? I don't know if you can see this but this is the Milestone Crusader, it's two cans of um, extract. Um, it went into the bottle on the 16th of December 
they describe it as a blonde ale. Now, I'm not a great beer connoisseur, I have to say. I'm a boy of the 80s and 90s, so, you know, used to be Grosch. Look at the head on that. That's what she said. Um, so, hold on. I'm not going to get any more in there. I have to say that for my second beer, fermented out of a kit, that is a stunning, stunning pint. I'm going to take a load to work tomorrow and show off. They'll love it. Blimey, that's drinkable. Um, let's hope this does as well. Okay, so that's still running. Um, there's 11 minutes left to run on that. Now, the next thing I've been told to do is to um, dilute um, uh, one kilo of this wheat malt extract. Now, it says wheat malt extract, and this says dry spray malt, right? I'm assuming that it's the right stuff. If it's not Brew UK, this is not going to be very wheaty. I'm sure it'll still be good. Um, so, I don't know, and this is, this is going to be interesting, is how much cold water do you dilute one kilo of um, dry malt into? So what I've done is, this is um, two litres in my clean bucket. Um, that's specifically for this. I'm going to find my slotted spoon and I'm going to just stick this in and I'm going to see how well this does. Um, this is a bit like wallpaper paste. This doesn't look very good. I think I've done something slightly wrong. Well, I don't. I mean, how wrong can you go? I mean, it's just what it is. Um, I'll show you this in a second. I'll move the camera. Um, be right back. So, I don't know if you can see this, but grey and a little bit lumpy. Um, I'm just going to mash it off against the sides. So this is the first kilo, and this goes into the wart. Um, Wart, unfermented beer, um, so to speak. Mm. Ew. Ew. Now, I'm assuming that when it boils, some of these extra bits will come out. I mean, is it like baking a cake? And you know, you get most of the lumps out, but the little ones sort of dissolve with the heat. I don't know. Well, I suppose, as they say, we're going to find out. Okay, so interestingly, just keep it stirring, and the malt extract seems to um, dissolve all on its own. Um, so now, just bucket of sludge. Quite fun. Um, but that was two litres, and I'm reading back on the instructions, um, and into, this goes into the boil at the beginning with the first set of hops. Then you put in, um, at the end, um, another sort of batch of this, um, and they reckon that you should have your fermenter with eight litres of water. So if this is 18, then, you, then you just, your boil pot should be at around about 10 litres. Uh, 10, 11 litres. So I think I've got this more or less spot on. So six, this two is eight, another two is ten, give or take, um, and then eight litres in the pot. So there we go. That's half an hour of steeping grains. Um, I'm going to take them out and I'm going to put them um, in my pot and I'm going to turn that off because, my god, that's really noisy. Um, and we kept the temperature right the way through um, at 66, 67, um, through to 69, but they didn't. It didn't go over that top. Whack. So here we 
go. And then I'm gonna undo that. Now apparently, there's all sorts of things about you shouldn't really squeeze the bag because of tannins and all sorts of stuff like that. Um, so, all he's wanted to do is he's told. We won't do that. But we will let it drain for a second. Anyway, enough chat. I have now got to bring this up to the boil. This then goes in. We then do 60 minutes. I'm apparently I'm going to steam up the entire um, flat and unless my extract thing works properly. Um, so I'm going to bring this up to the boil. Um, I'm really eager to see what they call the, the hot break um, because everybody raves about it, you know, because that's the time where you're going to get it all over the stove and knowing me, I will. Um, so I'll come back at that point. Is that right? Okay, so I can just see bubbles breaking on the top there. I would say that we're just up to the boil now. Um, so the pack says take it off the boil, off the heat, of which is not what, which is what we're going to do, and add the malt extract. So, God help us. Whoa. So, if I do it this way around, you can see what I'm doing. So that's the cold, it's the cold water added into the boil. Um, you can see some of the uh, protein foam, the, the 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 hot break, I think they call that. Um, so anyway, I suppose I'd better bring that back up to a boil. Okay, for you, um, no time at all has passed. For me, it's been an hour. Um, I'm expecting, yep, there we go, one minute to go. So, what do we do next? We um, put this in at the end of the boil. And I don't know that this is boiling enough. It's, it's... It's boiling, it's just not really boiling. Um, hops go in at the end. And more extract, five minutes before the end. This, this, is, the, this is the kilo and a half that there is left over. It's in my bucket and I'm just hoping that this is all right. And I... Oh. So then we put this in for... Oh, there's a lump. That's not good. That's not good, that's not good. So... Five minutes. I'm going to put it back up onto full heat and we're going to see how that goes. Okay, so we've come to our hour, it's all finished. Um, that's last edition of spray malt extract um, called the pot right down um, and stopped it from boiling. I mean, it's not cool, cool, um, but it stopped the boil run. Um, so now I've got to cool it. Now, unfortunately I don't have what's known as a wart chiller, so this is going in the bath. Um, and I'll take you in and we'll show you it in there. Okay. So, that's it. Um, that's the wart cooling. My assumption is, is that a big bath full of cold water will, uh, will do the job. Anyway, I think it's going to take about an hour, so we'll be back soon. Okay, so it's been about half an hour and um, already the wall is down to uh, 35 degrees. Now this says to take it to 36. Um, it's been in that bath um, of just cold water and it's, it's dissipated the heat amazingly. Um, it's really quite surprising. 
Um, so I'm just going to set the fermenter up and um, put the wort in it and strain everything off. Um, so I will set the camera up so you can see what that's all like. Um, and then we're kind of done, except for one very small problem. This is the yeast pack. It's now been open for four hours and it's it's certainly chunkier than it was, I'll give it that, but it's not, as it says here, hugely inflated. I wonder if you can see that. Yeah, there you go. Um, now, the question is, <laughs> what do I do? Do I put it in? And just assume that, you know, eventually all yeast will work, or do I wait until tomorrow and just seal the wall um, and keep it at 22 degrees and uh, as, a, as a chill down and see if this actually actuates or sort of starts more. Might do some research. I really wished I'd done this yesterday. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm going to do some research and we'll come back. Okay, so um, it's just gone 10 to, mid uh, 10 to midnight, so I've been brewing since 7 o'clock this evening. Um, and still no movement. So, what I'm going to do, um, it talks about putting 8 litres of cold water in. The wart's at 30, um, 34, and I'm going to strain that in now. Um, then what I might do is actually seal the whole fermenter over with, um, with cling film at the top. It's, it's not going to touch the beer, it won't touch the wart, so, um, but I think it'll seal it in for the night. And um, we'll see if this actuator pack works. If it doesn't, um, then we will, I don't know, I do not know, we will wing it. Okay, so this is the decision. I have decanted into um, the fermenter. I've then sealed the fermenter completely with clean film. Um, I tried not to move the wort around too much so it doesn't get too oxygenated. Um, the, wheat the yeast pack I think is working. Um, it does feel more than it did. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take an hour, um, I'm going to tidy up, put everything away that I don't need, um, see if it's got any bigger. If it has then it's going in tonight and we're going to ferment from tonight. If not, I'm up early tomorrow, so we'll try it then. Either way, I'll let you know, um, and we'll go from there. So, if you want to see the fermenter, um, we're going to just go and have a look down here. It's done up like, I don't know if you can see that, a Christmas tree, a Christmas present. Um, Anyway, that's it from me. Have a good night. Good morning and welcome back to sunny South East London. Um, I don't know if you can see, but not sunny at all. Um, so, after last night's drama of the yeast not uh, swelling, the pack did feel a lot bigger today. Um, so I have decided to pitch to the yeast this morning. Um, open the pack, the actuator that was inside had broken so it was all um, it was all mixed up. Um, it hadn't puffed up as much as I'd hoped um, so a bit of a concern that it's not actually gonna it's not actually gonna work. So what I'm gonna do um, today I'm gonna order a dry yeast. Um, it should be here by tomorrow um, or um, today's Tuesday, so it should be here by Wednesday, Thursday. Um, if this doesn't actually start doing anything, then I'll do that. Um, but it could mean that the batch is lost, who knows. Um, one last thing, I took a specific gravity reading, um, uh, and that's at 
1052 and the target was 1053 so more or less spot on so quite chuffed with myself on that one um, so we'll come back in about 24 hours and we'll see whether or not this is actually doing anything